Hello and welcome to Last Time Gamers Survival Secrets, the show that is here to give you tips and tricks and help you address your problems in DayZ. So today, after reading your feedback from last week's episode, I found out that a lot of you are having problems with snipers and all F4ers. So first we're going to have a look at the problems and what I see a lot of players doing. When players get shot, what they tend to do is drop to the ground. Obviously, in a real world scenario, this might work, it gives you a little bit of extra cover, but in DayZ and other games such as this, what you need to do is the first thing is the three point system, find cover, locate the target, and then eliminate it. Obviously, you can strafe, the problem with strafing is you're going to be exposed to the target longer, or you can move straight to the target, but a good sniper will get you if you're moving straight to the target area or the cover that you have sought out. So think about it, and try to locate in your headset or in your speaker system where the contact has actually came from. This third little thing is a little bit of a bonus clip. I saw this um, as a way to evade snipers in towns and cities. They quickly glance at you, they think you're a zombie, and you can just carry on on your way and nobody's going to even bother you. I was doing this in a town as a mess around the other day and a player just walked right past me. Here I've placed a sniper in the environment. He's by one of the trees. Look for what's out the ordinary. Look for something that looks not there. I've talked about this in the survival guide itself. It's a thing called tree cancer. And basically, when a tree has a little bit of a bump on the edge of it, right on the bottom, it looks quite suspicious. So look out for that as well when you're seeing snipers. Okay, also start looking for darker patches in the ground where someone could be hiding. So as you can see, if you look around, there might be a dark patch where there's a sniper, and there he is. All it is is just about training your eyes to look for these sort of things. Obviously, don't always train them for ghillie suits. Train them for normal guys as well, because there will be a mixture of people with sniper rifles. But like I've said, sometimes you cannot avoid being shot. A sniper will get the drop on you, and the best thing you can do in this sort of situation is put the game down. Just say to yourself, should have looked a little bit more carefully and just try to check the environment before you move and don't do a stupid mistake like that happened there crossing the open or following the main road these are going to be sniper bait points okay let's move on to all f4ers a lot of people do all f4 into lose zombie aggro and other things and the problem with all f4 players is the people that complain about it often do it themselves so the problem is we just need to completely eradicate this by simply I believe they implemented it a few weeks back with the Alt F4 leaving to instant death or leaving your player exposed for 10 seconds, but I have not seen this happen. I don't know about you guys, you have to explain it to me in the comments below as well. The main problem is we've got to address is it's going to suck and there's nothing really we can do as a player. Obviously if you think the guy's done Alt F4, absolutely hammer him with every single round you've got. Moving on, I do apologise for last week's episode being cancelled, this will be in its replacement and what basically I'm going to do is do another one on Saturday for you guys, so make sure you get your comments in fast of what you want to see and I'll try my best to get it out there straight away.